The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is CheeseBoy628 here today giving you a Theory Thursday. And this time, this team is brought to you by a suggestion made by Orange Plays Pokemon Battles, who said to do OU Hyper Offensive Sand. So I thought, hey, might as well try it out. I just made this sand team real quick, and turns out it's pretty darn effective. So this is Banded Titar, Spex Latios, Scarf Rotom Wash, Life Orb, Sword Stance, Breloom, Sash lead Terrakion and Lumberry Swords Dance Caesar. So this team is definitely not perfect, but I'm definitely liking it already. I'm thinking of maybe giving HP Ice to Rotom Wash and just small things like that to improve it a bit, but I am definitely liking the team thus far. So let's see what's great about this team. So like any hyper offense team, it's pretty darn simple to use. You just bring pokes in and you do as much damage really until you basically die and then you bring in something else to counter that. Hopefully you have enough counters which could lead to your downfall. But going on more good things about this team, very powerful, it's strong, it's meant to be about power. And as you can see here, even Breloom takes an HP ice from that land OT. Definitely has to be a defensive variant because otherwise I don't think I could have taken that. With that Bolt Seed is able to take out that land OT. Breloom is just ridiculously powerful. I sweep so many teams with it. It's honestly pretty underestimated. It needs to be used more. I don't see it used too much, honestly. And then finally, counters. This team is able to cover most of the big threats of the OU tier. And I just love using Banded T-Tar because it just takes out most of those psychics, barring ones with Baton Pass such as Espeon and occasionally Celebi, as Latios and Latios just do not really have a chance against it. And then I'm basically able to just sweep. Here you'll see that I keep going for a bullet punch against this Jirachi, which I know is a bit stally, but I don't want to get flinched. And as you'll see, I get the crit here, which just definitely confirms my victory instead of having to go through taking a ton of iron heads that I quad resist with Rotom Wash. So yeah, this team is pretty darn powerful, but of course it can certainly have its downfalls. So let's see some of the weaknesses of this team. So with Hyper Offense, your goal is to do as much damage as possible with the poke before you die. So you really don't care much about defense investment when you're going to hyper offense. Sure, you can have balanced offense, but this goal here is to have as strict hyper offense as much as possible. So as you can see, Titar comes in, it traps the Latios pretty well, kills it, and then I have to die from a CC to a Terrakion. Thankfully, it wasn't a dual dancing one or anything of the sort. Otherwise, I could have been in a bit of trouble, although I do have BP with my Caesar and like I said, counters. But more about the bad part of this team, little strategy because like I said, your goal is just to do as much damage as possible before you go down. And because of that, you don't really have much of switching in, you don't have walls, you don't really have complete counters. You can have counters with T-Tar against Psychics, but that's really about as far as it goes. And the main kind of team that this team absolutely despises is defensive. And that goes for a lot of different teams. Stall is just really annoying. You have to figure out how to break that core up, usually by setup pokes, which is why I have Caesar to start setting up with Swords Dances. But with a Willow, that could be annoying even though I have Lum. So it can be really annoying to get through defensive cores like Skarmory plus Jellicent or Ferrothorn plus Jellicent. You just really have to figure out how to get through it. I have realized that Land OT is getting a lot of usage lately and I'm having trouble facing that. So that is always a problem and Scarf Titar is making a comeback for sure and that's doing a lot of damage. So be worried about those pokes if you do decide to use this team. So feel free to use this team and I hope you enjoyed this Theory Thursday. Thank you all for watching, like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.